Hello folks, I'm Mehul, product designer at Fire, the team behind Merlin. Today I'm going to show you some of the basic use cases of Merlin. So let's get started. As you can see from the screen right away, first thing I am already logged in into Merlin. Second, I am using Merlin's Pro Plan. More about Pro Plans, actually you can get that in our website as well uh, in the pricing section. And Another thing, uh, if you are using it for the first time, you have to refresh your currently open tabs as obviously it will not uh, work in the currently open tabs. Any, in general, any Chrome extension will not work in currently open tabs. So that is one thing. So let's just get started. Now I'm sharing a doc over here. As you can see, I'm following a doc. We will share it in the description below or we will change it in, in future actually and include it in our website so later on we will update that as well like update that link into the description as well so uh, feel free to use it as of now or use whatever talks in the description okay so chat gpt was primarily made for translations and summarization so those are some things that it can do with your breeze okay so suppose uh, i want to summarize this blog i will copy my uh, prompt from here i will go to the blog and select the whole blog first okay you don't have to copy paste it or do something like that you just have to select it so that is something i have to do as you can see a tiny box that appeared over here saying control m now i can click on it or actually can press control m on my keyboard command m for mac and if command f is not working for you you can change the shortcut as well changing the shortcut will be uh, shown in later videos okay we will make another tutorial about that as well so let me paste my command over here and let me just press enter right now so if I press enter, as you can see, it says, please keep your prompt plus context under 3500 words. So what is prompt? What is context? Whatever I've given over here is prompt. Whatever is here is context. So uh, combinedly, it has to be under 3500 words. That is a limitation provided by uh, provide, provided here. So that is you have to maintain so obviously there is a certain limitation while inputting it yeah. so let's just select a shorter amount of text and try it again i will just uh, not select one line and try it and yeah it started and as you can see over here what i have mentioned properly summarize this blog into bulleted format so it has created these bullets for me okay for instagram post uh post carousel in 10 points so if you count the uh, count all of those you will actually find 10 points only you can copy the result from here just click on it that's it and if you don't like the result you can refresh it as well though keep in mind every refresh will count as a new query okay now let's go to our next use case suppose you are in some of the social medias uh you want to reply something because nowadays uh, to engage with people to grow your social media to grow your face you need to do it right so that is something uh a lot of people has used Merlin for so i will just click on it press this and let's hope it creates a great reply for me yeah and as you can see it has actually wait it has actually generated a for me okay it found some better replies okay so as you can see uh it has generated a hashtag for me as well okay so uh, it can easily depend uh, like Merlin can easily detect if you are in some kind of social media or not and and on the basis of that you it can suggest you uh hashtags mention sometimes okay sometimes only uh this is not uh like definite because all all of it is depending on chat gpt only right 
so let's go to our next use case uh that is uh replying to a mail or like suppose creating a new mail now you don't have to be in a particular website to uh bring in merlin though it will not work in blank page that means new tab page if i press ctrl m over here it will not work okay i have to be on some of the web pages so i am in merlin's landing page right now i will press ctrl m and give my prompt so i'm giving a prompt write a cold mail for collaborating in youtube video with mr beast and i will simply click on enter and yeah as you can see it started generating the message right and yeah that's about it so it will generate the whole email for me and as you can see like i was waiting for this only as you can see it gives you in templated format so uh, it is really easy for you to know where to place your name or maybe suppose you are creating a work related mail so where to put your occupation or something like that right now let's go to next uh, thing so i will do i can actually do rest of the uh queries over here as well because i don't have to go to any particular website for it so suppose i want to generate a really complex excel formula so merlin can do that as well like i have written over here write a excel formula to multiply every alternative row of column a till 10th row and divide it by 100 so uh i have selected it and as you can see the merlin prompt is already gone so uh just uh to make you l uh, make this uh tiny little box less annoying for you we have uh like uh made this auto closing function so you don't get annoyed if you are like using it for any other purpose like you are selecting it for any other purpose so i will just click on it and as you can see my prompt is over here as well and i will just press enter so if your prompt is already selected you can just press enter as well now here is the formula and it's it, uh, obviously it's uh, a really a uh, complex formula that it has generated and you can try it on and that's it and now uh, many of our users has used it for code generations code explanation code simplification uh, some tasks like that so suppose i want to generate a sql query to create a postgrid function to generate nano id so i will simply click on Merlin and press enter it will start here it will start generating it for me so yeah quite possible and let's go to code simplification option so I will just copy my prompt from here sorry my screen is yeah screen is zoomed in I will just select the whole code okay click on control m paste my prompt explain this code like explaining it to a five-year-old i will just press enter and yeah it started generating the expansion form so that is quite fast right so with merlin we will obviously like specifically with merlin pro we will obviously make sure that you cast fastest reply possible maybe sometimes faster than jab gpt as well okay because we are using uh, their one of their instances for our uses so the last thing is pure code generation so i will just click on it and i can actually do it here as well so here is my prompt i will click enter and yep and as you can see it's it has started generating the steps for me okay like as you can see it's explained everything like taking input from a user first two terms check the terms and all so quite have to like quite neat and clean right so yeah that's about it those are the use cases let us know if you can find out a new use case of merlin okay we would love to see that okay uh join our discord community you can get it from here as well uh here is a discord button wait have i selected anything yeah yeah you can get it from here or you can get it from here as well 
join our Discord community. Uh, there are plenty of people who is actually helping us to create Merlin as a great product because we uh, like we accept bug reports over there. We accept any feature requests and like a lot of things. So yeah, join us over there as well. That's it from my side. Bye.